Well, the fourth's an interesting hole. You've got to cross a small train line before you get here. What's that all about, Well, Gordon? that's where the local landowners transport their sugar cane along the railway line. So that's a novel Isn't occurrence, it? yeah. And then it becomes even more novel because we literally come down to the beach. It's a par three, it's 197 metres, and we've got beach all the way down on the left, bush all the way down the right, and a couple of bunkers up there. Gordon, you must have had some weird golfing experiences in your time. Look, definitely the weirdest, I think, was when the ABC sent me to cover the World Cup of Golf in Spain. It was after the 1989 Wallaby Tour of France. Australia was leading at the halfway point with Wayne Grady and Peter Fowler, and then the heavens opened. There was no more play. It rained for a week, and the only way I could get to the airport was to jump off a train with my suitcase above my head. So it was a wet experience but a novel one, and we won, importantly. <laughs> well, is that an omen with all this water down there? Well, we will fight them on the beaches here on this fourth hole. Let's see how we go with the water. Sandy! Oh, a bit leftish. Oh, oh, no, no! Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. <laughs> well, I don't mind being beached here. This is absolutely gobsmacking. And I've got a 52. I've got a bit of coral. And I've got to hope that I can hit it nice and skinny. And I have! Yes! Get in! Oh! That's got to be the best hole and the worst hole I've ever played. <laughs> well, I tell you what, it's one of the most scenic holes I've ever experienced. It is absolutely intoxicating with the beach. You've got the waves breaking on the reef. And uh, I tell you what, it doesn't get any better. And you did a bit of fishing out there as oh, well. We I did believe. a bit of fishing, but uh, here we go. Oh, it's got even worse. Oh, it's, oh! oh there you go. <laughs> I thought that wasn't going down for a sec. 